Let's hand straight over to Ernst Piercy, the team, team leader for Torrance, California. Thank you and good morning, uh, members of the Commission. Uh, I'm Ernst Piercy. I'm proud to pres uh, present to you today the report on the Torrance Fire Department's bid for accredited agency status. Before I get started, I, w I just want to say thank you for this opportunity, uh, not only to meet the Commission, but to stay engaged in the accreditation process. It's uh, both an honor and a pleasure, especially uh, serving on on this team. Uh, sitting at the uh, table uh, with me today are uh, Councilman uh, Jeff uh, Rizzo, Assistant City Manager Aram Chaparian, uh, Torrance Firefighter Association uh, President uh, James Duarte, and uh, uh, John Henderson uh, is also at the table. I, I skipped over John, sorry about that. Assistant Chief John Henderson is at the table with us, uh, and Zora Kunic, who is the uh, Senior Administrative Analyst and Accreditation Manager. And, I'm not sure, but I think I've got uh, two engines and a truck company from Torrance behind me as well. Is there anyone left? <laughs> so uh, in addition to myself, the peer assessment team included uh, Fire Chief uh, Don Smart from Little Rock Air Force Base, uh, Arkansas Deputy Fire Marshal uh, Ron Melser from uh, Clay Fire uh, Territory, Indiana, and uh, Division Chief uh, David Rathman, which you may know, sir, uh, out of uh, Orange County Fire Rescue, Florida. Uh, Torrance Fire Department, uh, uh, their dedication to the accreditation process is characterized by uh, several actions even prior to our arrival. Uh, during the document review, this agency was extremely responsive to our request for information or clarification. Uh, what I mean by that is once I posted a comment on SharePoint, I received an almost instantaneous response, uh, either via email, phone call, a text, uh, or um, an immediate response on SharePoint. Uh, this agency is absolutely committed to the model of continuous improvement and their actions match their written words once we're on site. Uh, the peer assessment team identified seven strategic recommendations uh, with four specific recommendations which will help this strong fire department become even more efficient in their operations. This agency was like a sponge uh, while we're on site, uh, very receptive to our recommendations. Uh, and improvement areas and very eager to provide the best possible level of service uh, to the community. Without getting into the specifics uh, of each and every recommendation, I can tell you um, there was a move afoot to implement recommendations even before we left. Uh, which, which I thought was uh, phenomenal. In addition to the recommendations, this team identified, uh, or our team rather, identified several innovative practices. Uh, you know, we don't do a great job of highlighting sometimes some of the really excellent things that uh, agencies do, but uh, we found a few uh, uh, without getting into details because the details are provided in your report, a, uh, a business emergency response uh, training program, a uh, participation in the South Bay Arson uh, Task Force, which is a, a force mul a multiplier not only for them but for the other agencies, and then a, a specialty EMS response team. These innovative practices uh, as I said, are discussed in greater detail in the context of your report. This agency, from the top to the bottom, uh, I mean, if you look at the table, they're committed. They get it. Uh, and I am honored to present <coughs> this agency with a recommendation for accreditation. Chief Cerna. Thank you. We'll talk about that. Good morning, uh, Mr. Chairman uh, and the Commission. I am Martin Cerna, the Fire Chief for the City of Torrance. We are truly excited and humbled to be sitting before your honorable body. The City of Torrance takes great and extreme pride in providing the highest level of public service throughout our community. When we embarked on this journey, we were unsure where it would lead us. But along the way, we discovered new opportunities to provide higher levels of service to our community. We provide, we would like to express our sincere appreciation to Mr. Piercy and the entire peer assessment team. Their candor and feedback has allowed us the opportunity to not only explore our department operations, but provided us a guide that will enhance our mission. The recommendations they submitted are being addressed and several have already been completed. I would also like to thank our entire department for recognizing the value of continuous improvement as we begin to transition from output base to outcome driven. We are blessed to have a great team that recognizes the value in challenging the status quo. Our mantra this year is a quote from Coach Lombardi, perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we will catch excellence. 
I am also very proud of Chief Henderson and Zora Kunich for embracing the challenge. It was a heavy lift for our department, but the focus allowed us the privilege to sit before your honorable body. I would also like to thank our city manager, Leroy Jackson, our assistant city manager, Aram Shaporian, for their guidance, as well as the entire department. This has truly been a team effort. I would close my comments by sharing, I would also like to thank our elected officials, Councilman Rizzo is here in support of that, uh, for the continued support of public safety. I will close my comments by sharing we recognize this is only the beginning and not the end. We remain purpose and mission driven. At this time, I would like to allow Councilman Rizzo the opportunity to share a few words. Thank you, Chief. Uh, Councilman Jeff Rizzo, City of Torrance. Uh, thank you for having us here today. I'll keep my comments kind of brief. Uh, first, I'd like to thank uh, members of the Torrance Fire Department for all the hard work they've put in uh, to in uh, working towards uh, the accreditation of our fire department. Uh, public safety has always been a priority for our community in the city of Torrance. Uh, it's what makes our community a desirable place for people to come live, work, and play. So uh, with that said, uh, on behalf of uh, Mayor Patrick Fury, the Torrance City Council, and the citizens of the city of Torrance. Uh, it's our privilege to present to you the Torrance Fire Department uh, for consideration of accreditation by this board. Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, Ernst. Um, questions from the commission? <coughs> Chief Turkson. Uh, in the report, you have a couple of recommendations related to your communication system and things like that. I read in the report that it's uh, under the control of the police department. Uh, that's the f my first question is going to be that, and I'll have a follow-up as well. Uh, so what steps have you taken um, for you to have input into how the, the operational function of the uh, dispatch center, since you have a recommendation about having your response times and your call processing as part of their policies? Thank you. Great question. We recognize and we discussed that internally when the, with Mr. Piercy prior to him leaving with the rest of the, the peer assessment team. With the recommendation, what we've done is we've actually established a, uh, a working group with our communication center, with our police department. We're actually sharing some of our concerns and dispatch uh, items related to uh, the report. Uh, on top of that, what we're looking at is looking at operations to see how we can better improve our efficiencies with the uh, dispatchers, our public safety dispatchers. So that group has met a couple times now and they've established uh, expectations, goals as we move forward. So it's a work in, work in progress, but I'm confident that the team will achieve the objective. Okay. Um, and then my second question is, is you've, I, there's some identified uh, gaps in your communication system. What steps are you taking to ensure your firefighter safety that they can communicate in those gaps? Correct. Prior, yes, I, I believe you're alluding to the uh, when we're in a situation where our radios aren't able to access a repeatable channel. Uh, what we recognize, and that's the value of this process, it's a practice that we've done throughout time, which is switched to direct. Uh, but we never had it in uh, an SOG format. We have since uh, done that. I can assure you that all our firefighters from uh, our, our probationary firefighters through our most senior members understand that when they're not able to access our repeatable, uh, a repeater, they switch their po portable radios to a direct channel frequency. Very good, thank you. Yes, sir. <coughs> Other questions? I beg your pardon. Sorry, Chief Rhodes. That's okay. It's easy to look at Tommy. He's much more attractive. So. Eating his Cheerios. Uh, eating his Cheerios no. this morning. Uh, my apologies as we digress. Um, talking about NFPA 1582 physicals, I, I see that you have them for your initial employees, and then you encourage them every two years after. How effective is that, and what keeps that from being mandated every two years? Great question, Chief. We've actually transitioned. We used to... Uh, provide physicals uh, depending on, on how old you were. If you're under 40, we would provide physicals every, uh, every four years. Over 40 were every two years. What we've done, we've developed a great partnership with the local college um, here in the Orange County area where we're actually, actually testing and uh, it's a wellness program where we're actually testing and providing some of those benefits uh, to our firefighters on an annual basis. A part of that is, you know, a stress test, actually providing nutritional education, as well as 
um, physical education to our firefighters. So we've transitioned into uh, allowing that. We do um, still provide and allow for firefighters that do want to take advantage of that opportunity. The city does provide physicals. It just has to be coordinated through the individual member. But I'm confident with our partnership with Santa Ana College that our firefighters are getting the best education, wellness, uh, physicals on an annual basis. Thank you. Yes, sir. Ken. Good morning. Good morning. The report talks about um, the lack of a fire suppression system in all of the stations. There's one in, um, and, and you know, to, one of the recommendations is to have a program to execute, uh, you know, getting a suppression system in these stations. I understand, I'm sensitive to the, you know, trying to retrofit all of these uh, stations, but I was wondering, one, if you have a plan for it, and two, the other, another thing uh, uh, the report talks about is, is um, the accumulation of hazardous uh, products of combustions on, on particular items, medical, uh, medical supplies and, 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 and PPE and such. I was wondering if you've developed a plan to separate those uh, things so it no longer occurs. Correct. I know in listening to the previous hearings, there was a discussion on uh, wish list. Uh, we are uh, a built out uh, city. We do have some aging infrastructure. We do have a plan, developing a plan to address those items. Uh, fire suppression, obviously, we're, we're tied by the economics of uh, our, our budget, but we are planning on presenting some plan moving forward. Uh, we've, uh, and as far as the biggest concern really is the carcinogens and exposure of our firefighters, PPE, as well as our firefighters to uh, diesel exhaust and other uh, carcinogens. Uh, we recognize that. We do have a diesel exhaust system in all our facilities. Um, one of the items that was presented as a recommendation is where we store our current uh, turnout ensembles. We are working to develop the plan. We don't have it in place as of today, but it is a plan moving forward to address. Great. Hopefully when this becomes a budgetary ask, those that make the decisions on the budget um, will understand the importance of making sure those things are done. Correct. And, it, and as far as fire suppression, you know, in our community, uh, fire sprinklers, again, leading by example truly mm -hmm. is uh, we, we changed our fire code locally to mandate uh, new construction as well as re uh, uh, remodels to implement residential sprinklers. Um, but again, if we're uh, going to mandate that to our community, we need to lead by example. So we are going to work on a plan as we process and move forward. Understood. Thank you very much for that answer. Yes, sir. Chief Thompson. It is uh, very cool to see another California agency, as I, uh, um, I've been eating this model for many years now. Um, and as part of the California um, Accreditation Consortium meetings, there's uh, very rarely that uh, I do not see or, uh, Torrance. Um, they're sharing their programs, uh, bringing their, uh, their master craftsmen, uh, you know, with them at their... Um, the accreditation manager is one jazzed individual. <laughs> um, I've seen it on everyone, so uh, um, I know the quality of your staff. Um, I think I know the good uh, quality of your uh, uh, of your department now. Reading through the report, um, so I want to commend you um, for another California state um, department rolling up their sleeves and comparing it to industry best practice. Not an easy thing to do for fire service. Um, and going through this report now, I've known Chief Piercy for many years. Um, I think I've oh, got a captain or a lieutenant. I'm aging myself, but um, I don't believe I have ever heard Chief Pierce use the, use the word superb in a report before. Okay? Uh, that ought to say something. and uh, uh, that, that means uh, a lot to me, and I think it means a lot to this commission as well. Um, so it was uh, reading through the report, it was like looking right through a, 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 you know, a clear glass window. Uh, you brought up everything, and uh, I'm, I'm proud of you, and um, that's all I want to say. I I just have, Commissioner, sorry, go Chairman, ahead. if I can, that is correct. We do have an outstanding group, and uh, we're very proud of uh, the team and what they've been able to uh, put us put through the, through this process. So I echo your sentiments. I see Chief White back there. I know he's going like this. Yes. Okay, he gets me jazzed as well. Thanks. I just have one question. Uh, 2D7, I think, uh, talks about some improvement plans that were identified in the community risk assessment and the standards of cover, and uh, the task for you is to formalize the implementation and, and the tracking of those. Can you just talk maybe briefly about what that looks like and the next steps for that? Thank you, Chairman. Yeah, one of the steps that we're looking at as far as tracking is 
uh, reporting that back to our community on a regular basis, which we did. Our strategic plan was reported back, I believe, two weeks ago as far as where do we stand on our strategic plan. We're also looking to uh, develop dashboards that we can present that to our community as a whole. And our goal now is to, on an annual basis, every fiscal, our calendar year is to report back to our community, both internally and externally. Prior to that, we're going to have a, what we call an annual impact meeting with our stakeholders, which would include labor, as well as our company officers, to see where, we've, uh, uh, where we might be missing the gaps and making some adjustments, again, focused on continuous improvement as we move forward. Um, and have the, the actual implementation side, though, of, uh, of, of those uh, gaps, I guess. What, what does that look like in terms of <coughs> implementing the elements that you found? Okay. Um, I will turn this over to uh, Chief Henderson, who can address that further. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Uh, in our standards of cover document, we had nine recommendations. And uh, to be quite honest, it was clearly evident to us which divisions those belong to wasn't so clear to the peer assessor team. So uh, we clearly outlined who's responsible to carry out those recommendations. Uh, some of them are gonna require more of a, mm -hmm. a whole community approach, uh, but they are assigned to people who run divisions now to track and maintain okay. those recommendations. Yep, so there's, there's a plan in place to formalize that for sure. Yeah, it, it actually has already been formalized and Great. it will be reported on quarterly. Fantastic, thank you. Um, can I get a motion? Mo uh, Chief Thompson, yep. a motion to approve. Uh, a second, uh, Chief second. Dirksen. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Congratulations, Torrance. Thank you.